going on guys straight game here in today's video i got some forza horizon 3 uh and this basically gonna be some dlc car packs that you can purchase i'm not sure if you can get them in game from multiplayer or campaign i'm not sure about that but you can purchase these and i bought it as the ultimate edition for forza horizon 3 so i don't know exactly how much each pack costs individually but we're gonna be going over the motorsport all-star car pack and the vip membership car pack and it was something else that i had got with the ultimate edition but i can't really remember at this time um if you guys want to know more information on that definitely comment below i'll um try to get to get back to you on that as soon as possible but pretty much we're just going to be going over uh, the motorsport all-star car pack first you got pretty much all s1 and s2 class uh, i think it might be one um a class car but i'm not sure i can't remember i'm trying to look at it as i'm uh doing a little pre or post recording um but you got anywhere from the audi r8 to the chevrolet corvette uh going to the nissan gtr uh just a very a variety of different cars now i'm pretty much gonna be just showing you the torque uh top speed horsepower power to weight ratio all that good stuff and then just a once over 360 around the car just to show you how it look it's nothing spectacular but i'm just showing you what you can and cannot get uh, as far as car pack this is like the first car packs that come out with the pre-order and it was a pre-order car that i got that was damn near the exact same as one of the motorsport r-star car packs it's literally the same car it just like was lowered or some shit so i don't know like what the hell was that because it's literally the same car it just lowered i don't know whatever i might sell it but like i said guys this is just a quick little video of a once around um got any questions down below or got any questions or uh stuff you want me to do like car builds with any of these cars definitely let me know in the comments below if this video helped you out in any way shape or form definitely leave a like subscribe share this shit and why like my sound just cut out over here i don't know man i've been having a lot of weird technical difficulties with this uh record this shit like my sound like i'm actually post recording so i'm looking at the screen and trying to do all this shit at the same time but my sound just cut out <sighs> i don't know guys but definitely uh share subscribe like all that good stuff guys if it does help you out and remember uh if you want to see any of these cars feature in any type of build drift build drag build uh circuit build meaning like around uh like lap races pretty much definitely let me know in the comments below because I'm pretty much interested in a lot of these cars. Like one of my favorite cars out this pack, or at least both the packs, was the Aventador. I'm thinking it was the Aventador. I'm trying to remember because it was quite a few. What the hell was that? It was <laughs> it was quite a few cars that was in this uh, car pack, and you got around like 16 cars. To me, it's worth it, especially if you're a YouTuber, you want to uh, bring the new up-to-date cars to show guys, uh, show people before they uh, pretty much buy. Hey, there you go, right there, the Aventador. Yeah, I think, no, no, that's not the Aventador. That's the Hurricane, but still, you know what I'm saying? It, it was one of my first uh, favorite cars just because it was all wheel drive. Um, I'm pretty much in love with the way it sound. The game is awesome, I'm having fun with this game. Multiplayer is cool, I just unlocked it. And I do apologize for not uploading as like I supposed to have been because I've been like literally trying to upload daily, but I've been slacking a little bit. But guys, remember, if you want to see any of these cars in a car build, drift build, whatever you want to see, just definitely let me know in the below or in the comment section below. I'm going to be uh, finishing up the story mode. I just like when I have to record it, El Elgato does this thing where I have to um, basically re-render it in a different format so it can uh like i get audio lag so i have to like record it then put it in handbrake and handbrake it like basically breaking it down so i can uh keep the audio from lagging it, it takes a really long fucking time especially when you're doing like a let's play or some shit because you're recording for a while but i've been having like difficulties all that to side like i said if you like uh hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff and definitely you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All the links to all this stuff will be in the description below. Guys, we didn't hit like, what is it, 1,258 subscribers, man. I'm definitely enjoying this. I appreciate every like, every comment, all that type of shit does help me out, whether you know it or not, guys. Like I said, you want to see anything, let me know in the comments below, man. It's straight gaming. And if you didn't know, now you know. Deuces.